Ballad number thirty four of the Bab Ballads by W. S. Gilbert. Read for LibriVox.org by Graham Redman. The Periwinkle Girl. I've often thought that headstrong youths of decent education determine all important truths with strange precipitation. The ever ready victims they of logical illusions, and in a self assertive way they jump at strange conclusions. Now take my case. Ere sorrow could my ample forehead wrinkle, I had determined that I should not care to be a winkle. A winkle, I would oft advance, with readiness provoking, can seldom flirt and never dance, or soothe his mind by smoking. In short, I spurned the Shelley joy, and spoke with strange decision. Men pointed to me as a boy who held them in derision. But I was young too young by far, or I had been more wary. I knew not then that winkles are the stock in trade of Mary. I had not watched her sunlight blithe, as o'er their shells it dances. I've seen those winkles almost writhe beneath her beaming glances. Of slighting all the winkly brood I surely had been chary, if I had known they formed the food and stock in trade of Mary. Both high and low, and great and small, fell prostrate at her tootsies. They all were noblemen, and all had balances at cootsies. Dukes with the lovely maiden dealt, Duke Bailey and Duke Humphy, who ate her winkles till they felt exceedingly uncomfy. Duke Bailey greatest wealth computes, and sticks, they say, at no thing. He wears a pair of golden boots, and silver underclothing. Duke Humphrey, as I understand, though mentally acuter, his boots are only silver, and his underclothing pewter. A third adorer had the girl, a man of lowly station, a miserable grovelling earl besought her approbation. This humble cad she did refuse with much contempt and loathing. He wore a pair of leather shoes and cambric underclothing. Ha ha! she cried, upon my word. Well, really, come, I never. Oh, go along, it's too absurd. My goodness, did you ever? Two dukes would Mary make a bride, and from her foes defend her. Well, not exactly that, they cried. We offer guilty splendour. We do not offer marriage right, so please dismiss the notion. Oh, dear, said she, that alters quite the state of my emotion. The earl he up and says, says he, Dismiss them to their orgies, For I am game to marry thee quite regular at St. George's. He'd had, it happily befell, a decent education, His views would have befitted well a far superior station. His sterling worth had worked a cure, She never heard him grumble, She saw his soul was good and pure, Although his rank was humble. Her views of earldoms and their lot all underwent expansion. Come, virtue in an earldom's cot, go vice in ducal mansion. End of ballad number thirty four, The Periwinkle Girl, from the Bab Ballads. This recording is in the public domain.